Good afternoon. This is Elizabeth Griffin, your independent author from South Philadelphia, and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please take a moment and do so now and leave a thumbs up if you like this video. So today I'm going to mention my favorite writers, and I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. So topping the list is Coffee Boy, which is written by Mark Mathedane, and it's about a tennis player from South Africa who comes to the States to go to school, and it talks about his dealings with apartheid and how his family grew up under that regime. Next is The Street, written by Anne Petrie, and I love this story. It's about a woman that migrated from the South to New York and her struggles uh, during the 1960s, uh, dealing with um, Harlem and, and uh, finding a job and uh, just the oppression of, of poverty. Next is Weep Not My Child by Ngujiwa Thiongo. Love him. And he also did a play called Black Hermit. Next is Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achebe. Then Black Voices, the anthology of African-American literature. Love it. Love this book. When I first got the book in high school, I didn't truly appreciate it, so I put it aside for a while. But after going back to it, uh, writing always draws you back, <laughs> I realized what a gem this book is. And in this book, there's it's, uh, poems, it's uh, short stories, it's uh, also excerpts from biographies, and in it is the autobiography of an ex-colored man, which is written by the Johnson brothers who wrote the Black National Anthem. And then also there is a poet who I love, uh, Naomi Long Madgett. She has a poem in there and she also has a short, a short story about the Watts riot. Love her. Next is PE, um, which is written by Pearl S. Buck. And it's about a Chinese bondsmaid who falls in love with the only son of a Jewish family. Then, of course, the Malcolm X biography. That was excellent. And then jumping to young, I mean, to children's literature, uh, we have The All of a Kind Family by Sidney Taylor. And my fifth grade teacher would read this to me, as well as Charlotte's Web by E.B. White and Garth Williams. Next is Beanie Malone, which I read in high school. I got it from the library. It's a very old book, and it's written by Lenora Mattingly uh, Weber. And it's, it's uh, about a young girl, maybe like 13, 14. Excellent book. Loved it. Then it's The, the Girl by Catherine Cook. And also my Harlequin Romances and Harlequin Presents. Love those from the 1960s to the 1980s. The next is Jackie Collins. She wrote Chances. She also wrote Hollywood Kids. Uh, the World is Full of Married Men. Her writing in the 1980s was phenomenal. Every young woman was reading her work. Didn't matter what color you were, you read Jackie Collins. Then uh, I like The Outsider by The Outsiders by uh, F. E. Hinton. And she wrote this when she was in high school. And then next would be uh, that. That was then this is now that was also written by se hinton and then donald goins i love this man i love his writing it's gritty it's urban it's just it's too visual at times but he's excellent excellent and so he wrote things like um uh swamp man uh Kenyatta's revenge uh dope fiend whoresome and the, the excellent Black Girl Lost. Love that one. Very touching, very provoking. And then Terry McMillan, Disappearing Acts, which was an HBO special. And then also Waiting to Exhale, which became a movie. And then we can't forget Beverly Jenkins, who writes Black Historical Romance. And Brenda Johnson, her counterpart, in my opinion, who was the first African-American woman to publish under Silhouette Desire Line. And she has over 400 books. And then Joanna Lindsay, which is, uh, she wrote The Captive Bride. And I liked a lot of her her uh, historical romances. They were about like Vikings and warriors and things like that. And then concluding my list is how to write a romance and get it published. I love this book. It taught me so much. And uh, I don't think the book is available now in its original format. I think they kind of uh, edited it down. But if you can get the original copy, excellent, excellent choice. So thank you for coming to my channel and for listening to my list. If you want to add to it, please do so. And also uh, leave a thumbs up. As I said, if you like this video, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, love, peace, joy, happiness. Bye-bye.